What is going on everybody, it's your boy GS back again with another Madden 13 video. And today I'm going to show you guys how to put a wide receiver as a running back. I completely forgot to add this into my Jacksonville scheme. I know a lot of you guys were asking questions. I uploaded a video this year with the beers and I was having Hester run the ball. And you guys like, how do you do that? Well, once you go to dev chart, you'll notice that you are not allowed to put a wide receiver in the running back slot. You know, it's just not available. You're unable to do it. You can put a, a running back as a wide receiver. You can put a, t a wide receiver as a tight end. You can put a tight end as a wide receiver, but you cannot put a wide receiver as a running back. And a lot of you guys are asking, why would you do this? Yes, why are you hating on Matt Forte? Matt Forte is a very good running back, but there's a big difference between 92 speed and 99. So having Hester in that backfield, that extra, you know, speed is just, you know, absolutely amazing. He has that home run ability. Plus, plus, Forte is a great run uh, receiver. So having him as a receiver is not that bad. Uh, but if you notice, if you try to individually sub, you can't do that as a wide receiver either. You cannot add a wide receiver. And so you're not allowed to put in a receiver as a running back. So how, in what way are you able to make sure that you have a wide receiver in your backfield? Now, here's the benefits to it. I mean, one, yeah, they will get injured more because they can't take the physical punishment as a running back. You know, if you put in Hester, he will get injured at some point in the game. He will, most likely. Um, but one is that they um, are faster. You know, I would only suggest doing if you have a slow running back like Cincinnati I would have Hawkins running the ball over you know Benson I mean um, not Benson but um, you know the running backs that they have over there because they're a little you know they're slower um, over Mar Maroney and uh, also um, catching the ball as you guys know running backs drop a ton of balls this year they drop a lot of balls and having a receiver you know, at that position, they're not going to drop the ball. So on third down or fourth downs on crucial downs, you know, you could just put in a wide receiver there and they're going to not drop the ball. So um, what you want to do is in order to do this, you have to go to a five receiver set. Now, this is the Jacksonville playbook that I'm using. So once um, I scroll down, I'm going to uh, go to a, uh, a five receiver set. And this is the only way that you can do this. So, um... And you can just uh, audible to any play, and I'm going to show you in a little bit exactly how all that stuff comes together. So you go to your five receiver set, and notice the inside slot to the right side. That guy right there that I'm already on. You know, you have um, four receivers. No, you have three receivers, a tight end, and a running back in these slots right here. So what you want to do is number 80, the guy on the end, not the tight end, but the guy on the inside slot towards the right. All you want to do is substitute that guy for whoever you want to be the running back. And you see, I manually sub out Hester for Knox. I put in Devin Hester right there in that position. And then all you want to do is select any play. It, it truly doesn't matter. You know, you can come out in wide receiver screen, wide receiver, you know, streaks, whatever. You just come out in any single play you want. So again, the inside slot towards the right, not the tight end, but not the receiver on the far right, but the guy in the middle. And whoever you put in that position, that guy will become your running back once you audible. And again, this is the only way you can do this. I've been doing this since Madden 12. And it's really, really effective if done with the right team. So as you see, you know, I come on my five receiver set, you know, a random play. Then I audible to um, a play from my audible package. And now look who becomes my running back. Now Hester is in my backfield. So as soon as I select my play from the line of scrimmage, before I even reach the line of scrimmage, I've already audible into a play. And, you know, uh, my receiver right there is now in my backfield. So again, this is very, very useful. More often than not, because most teams either have, you know, they usually have a speed option at running back. But I say that this is extremely useful to have on passing downs. You know, if you already have your audible set up, and like, trust me, I played a couple games and, you know, Darren Sproles is dropping. But like, they drop so many wide open passes, you know, especially on deep streaks. You know, you go ahead, a wide receiver is not dropping that pass, you know, because that's what wide receivers do. They catch the ball. So this is um, mainly effective when passing passing the ball just to have a receiver in your backfield you know gives you that extra receiver on the field and 
You know, if you happen to have a very slow running back and you happen to have a fast receiver who you're really not going to use in the game, like the Bengals got Hawkins. He's like a 67 overall as a receiver or whatever, but it's speed 95. Now, having him in the backfield is more useful to me than having him as a receiver. So, uh, again, this is how you do it. You come out in a five receiver set. You substitute the right inside slot to whatever um, person you want to be a running back. Then you audible to whatever play calls that you have in your package, and boom, there it is. He's now your running back, and, you know, somebody like Hester, actually a good running back. You know, he has decent carrying. He has great agility, great um, elusiveness, um, you know, amazing speed, uh, good catching. So, you know, Devin Hester is absolutely going to be a monster as a running back. And putting Matthew Forte as a receiver is good too. You know, he has he has a decent speed for a wide receiver, but he's a big body. So putting him against a small linebacker or or cornerback like that is really going to be effective. So uh, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's it. I'm out. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.